In the details this evening, throughout the day, the Electoral Commission has been dispatching electoral materials to various regional offices ahead of the December 7 elections. We have our man, Noble Crosby Annan, who has been to the Greater Accra Regional Police Command, and he will be joining us shortly uh, to give us more details. All the uh, parliamentary ballot papers for the Greater Accra region has been transported to uh, from Inolink, one of the printing houses mandated to be printing uh, ballot papers for the Greater Accra region. The ballot papers that have ar arrived here at the Greater Accra Regional Police Headquarters is that of the parliamentary elections. It's been a very, very busy day for party agents, some who followed uh, the transportation of the ballot papers uh, or the bags in which these ballot papers have been kept in from Inolink up until the Regional Police HQ here in Accra. Now from here, it will be distributed to the various constituencies. That is after uh, the presidential ballot papers have also uh, been added to it. When these ballot papers got here, it was a long day for the agents. Uh, they had to inspect the seals put on the ballot papers that have been kept in the bag that has been sealed to ensure that nobody has tempered with these seals to inspect the quality of the papers that have been kept in the bag and then they have been kept at the uh, police armory right behind me where uh, the blue gate is that is where these uh, bags which contain the ballot papers parliamentary ballot papers of course for the 2024 elections have uh, been kept we'll try and speak with the uh, greater Accra. Uh, regional director of the electoral uh, commission, uh, Madam Pinkrap, will try and reach her and have a quick conversation. Uh, a quick conversation with uh, Madam Pinkrap on what has the process been. So, for Madam Pinkrap, good evening to you live on uh, News 3 C on on TV3. Just a few words from you. Uh, what has been your assessment of the entire process so far? Oh, so far everything has been successful. Everything has been very good so far. All the ballot papers and I mean we have gotten all the quantities so we are okay. So what is happening from here? From here we'll leave it maybe up to next week. Okay. Then when we receive the presidential ballot papers to we'll send them to their respective districts. Okay. Police command. Where on election they will be transported to the various uh, polling stations for elections to be cast. Yes. Thank you so much. Uh, Madam Prinkra is the Greater Accra Regional uh, Director of the Electoral Commission speaking with us on how the process has been. I should also tell you that that is not all. There's a lot of work for these agents to do going into the December 7 elections. The checking of these uh, seals after they have been transported from here to the various constituencies and when they are transported from the constituencies to the various polling stations on election day. I spoke with some of the agents on how the journey has been from Inolink, one of the printing houses mandated to be printing for the greater crowd region and how the journey has been, the security uh, detail and how their presence has influenced or protected the ballot and the levels of confidence they have in these bags that have been kept at the police armory. We can take a listen to some of them now. Every ballot paper was checked and cross-checked according to the serial numbers per the ranges on the ballot papers. So clearly we just assisted and joined the EC to re-check, reconfirm and re-bag and reseal everything. That is the main work we came here to do. So after uh, everything is confirmed, we, we, we repackage them back into the bag and then all the polit political parties uh, put their seal on it as well as that of the EC. Okay. So again, the political parties will put their seals on sure. as well as the electoral commission. So after the political parties put their seals on and the electoral commission, what happens to the backs now? Now the police are giving us a safe place okay. for its, its safe keep until it's been transported from here to the respective constituencies. Okay. So that is what we are waiting upon now. If you check, we have 34 constituencies in Accra. Some have finished all their processes. Those here are also waiting to be shown where exactly their bags will be kept so that everybody will know that our bags is at point A or B or X so that we all affirm that it is there before we leave here. These bags that are being kept there, uh, what are your levels of trust that they will not be touched? Is it because of the seals that are on the bag? you're very confident that nothing can happen to it and you're rest assured that everything else will be as expected. Okay, so if you look at um, the various seals that has been put there, you realize that 
the colors are different. Um, the inscriptions on it are also different. And so we have that for the EC. We have that for the political parties. So basically, you, you realize um, that of the NDC and the NPP. I don't think that after this, uh, anybody can break into it. Uh, because if it is broken into, it means that you have to make sure you get the same seal with the same serial number, uh, which will be difficult. And so. Our man, Noble Crosbyanan, they're reporting from the Accra Regional Police Command and in talks with some NDC and MPP reps so because of the Electoral Commission already dispatching some ballot papers to some regional offices ahead of the December 7 general elections.